So I didn't want to get up, but I did. And now we're in here. Get up. It's time to clean our laundry room. Now, some of you chose to clean a completely different spot for 10 minutes, which I also love. So don't feel obligated to be in the laundry room. If you are, yay, we're going to get a lot done. If you're somewhere else, I'm so proud of you for doing this either way. It's 10 minutes. The time is going to pass whether or not we're active. You can sit on your butt for 10 minutes and everything stays the exact same and you don't get any momentum going forward. Or you can get up, you can find where you're going to tackle, and you can clean with me for 10 minutes and see what happens after that. So we have the timer up here. Um, I don't have like the best idea of what I'm going to clean. I do need to organize this area. I do need to fold that laundry over there. It's been sitting up there for a few days. We just seem to be like adding the laundry to the top of that basket as we're trying to switch loads and we just we're not actually folding and putting away anything. Um okay I'm gonna set the timer and we are going to get this going. Get ready. Three, two, one, start. Okay, so I realized when I was editing yesterday, oh, I didn't get a trash bag. Okay, we'll have to get a trash bag after this. Um, I realized when I was editing yesterday, a couple different things. One, my internet was so incredibly slow that, sorry about that noise, guys, that instead of posting around 3 p.m., which was what my intention was, I could not get it up until like well past 9 p.m. my time. And that sucked because I know nobody watching it at 9 p.m. wanted to get off their couch and actually clean. And I don't blame you. Hopefully, it's not nearly as bogged down today and I will be able to get this up at a reasonable time and we will be able to get up and clean instead of, you know, scrolling through uh, during bedtime. And the other thing I noticed is that this microphone is, okay, it was the cheapest one I could possibly buy and it jiggles a lot and it catches up a lot of those little spike sounds. Um, I didn't know how successful or, you know, I didn't know how this was going to go when I started my channel a month ago. And I do find that I need to use this mic and I need to actually have a better quality mic. So that will be the next thing I invest in. I wonder how loud this is for you guys. So that'll be the next thing I invest in. So when we do more clean with me's where I'm actually talking to you, it doesn't have those constant jiggle spikes. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oops. No, don't go in the water dish. Ugh. So. I have been thinking a lot about motivation and, you know, how hard it is for me to clean and show you guys a clean with me. And then just a few days later, it is, we're back to square one. So I think what we should do coming up here pretty soon is, I've never done it before. I don't know how much I believe in it, but a vision board. Um to like really draw out our goals for 2024. I still, like the last time we did, when we I talked about my goals, I still have like this crazy good feeling that 2024 is going to be like a super good, super productive year for me. I haven't had that feeling in so long. I just envision myself setting and achieving so many different goals like, YouTube goals and homeschool goals, um, homemaking goals, fitness goals. I just, I have such a good feeling about it. And I really want to see what would happen if I was very specific and intentional with my goal setting and how it would look if I dedicated myself to a year of being better. I don't know. 
I don't know if that makes sense with you, but I did buy something to make a vision board. Um, and I bought, like, they actually make booklets of pictures that you can cut out specifically for vision boards. And I got one of those and clipped a few things out of it. I'm more of a tangible person than a um, digital person, although I did see a lot of really cool, like, Canva vision boards. That's just not something that I am awesome at. This looks like I dyed it blue. Shoot. Still sniffling. Sorry, guys. Um, so I do hope to get that going. And I'm really going to think about very specific goals and my tangible paths to accomplish them. Okay, this still fits my son. That's donation. This can go into my son's bucket. I think these still fit him too. Oh, hmm. I think these still fit him. We did that whole phase of life where he has just shot through all of his clothes. All of a sudden, one day he just came out and like nothing fit him, um, which is always hilarious when it happens. When my daughter does it and I, and I complain because she's getting so big so fast, she just goes, it's just a part of life, mom. And I really think that's adorable. Okay. Well, at least I did this part. So it's not going to sit here and just like mock me with. Okay. This is mine with it being undone. This pile my kids can put away pretty easily. This bath mat goes into my kid's bathroom, linen closet, donation, kitchen. And then I can fold these now. Let's get these out so they stop spilling onto the floor to where I'd have to just rewash them. Oh, my bath mats are clean. That's exciting. I chose white bath mats because I thought it would look aesthetically pleasing and it is probably the most annoying chase I've, choice I've made. This is empty, which is thrilling because I need to wash these curtains on their own because I bet they bleed. Okay. Now I'm not going to hit start until after I stop recording because I just think it will be, sorry, 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 sorry. I think it'll be overwhelmingly loud if I do that. Ta -da. Okay. So I will put these. So, oh, frick. Okay. I'm going to fold these when we're done because I want to get a few other things tackled. Put these up here just because they need to be out of the way. Throw that in the wash too. Trash. Okay, let's get some of this tidied. Okay. So I had to empty out a lot of my refrigerator in here because. The turkey we bought for Thanksgiving was massively enormous. So we didn't actually buy it. It was a dear friend of mine. She purchased it and uh, gave it to us. And then we had a joint birthday Thanksgiving. And um, it was enormous. And I had to take out this uh, drawer and all of my drinks just to get enough space for it. It was really delicious. And then I cooked it down into some pretty amazing turkey broth. That doesn't fit super well, does it? There we go. Okay, you can go back here a little bit. Okay. The kitten food. This is kind of turning into a conundrum now, isn't it? Let's see if I can rinse this off. I have no idea why broom is in the sink. Seems a little insane, right? Okay, let's just get this out of the sink. And then we'll have a functional sink again. That's a fun noise for everybody to enjoy. All right. Just under two minutes left. 
This feels a lot less productive than the bathroom one, but honestly, I know that I am going to start that load of laundry and I'm gonna pull that hamper out and fold them and put those away too, which is more than I can say I was going to do 10 minutes ago when I was sitting on my couch, trying to think of reasons why day two of cleaning Vlogmas was too many days to do it and that I couldn't possibly get off my butt for one more day. I was hoping for a rag, did not see one. Put this into my fridge. Yes. Perfect. See how beautiful this turkey stock turned out? Not relevant, but really, really, really pretty. All right. That had to be really loud too. All right, this serving tray, which we never actually ended up using, is just getting clutter in here. And I can put it back away because the holiday is well past. Oh, we were just about done, guys. Still funny to me. Okay, so that felt a little less productive for me. I think it's because I spent a lot of time folding clothes and then filled the same basket filled with clothes. So honestly, it, it doesn't feel like I made any progress. It, it feels the exact same, which I hate, but I will be able to do this. I do have the forward momentum. We got this sink to where I can actually use it again. I can put this up. We put the shelf back in there. So the fridge is a little bit more functional and I don't know. I guess they're not all home runs where you just feel like you did something incredible. I still feel kind of like I didn't get enough done. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off and start the upload just in case it takes 9,000 billion years again. And I am going to stay in here. I'm going to putter around in here and get it to where I feel like I really accomplished something. I do feel motivated to clean now. So I'm just gonna keep that going. Um, if you wanna keep the motivation going, I have me cleaning the rest of my laundry room. I learned how to link these things. So I'm really excited about that skill. I'm gonna link that. And I think this is gonna be the time I learned how to put an end card at the end um, that you know real YouTubers have. So that's gonna be the editing skill I learn. And so, that should be showing. Anyways, thank you so much for spending time cleaning with me today. I hope that this gave you some sort of motivation and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye.